Hello everyone, welcome to Marlin Chess Kids. Today we will show you the game played by Benz and Albert. Before we start up the game, I will show you the example of checkmate. In this tool diagram, you have the diagonal or the dovetail mate or another name we call it Kuzio mate. And another one is the straight or shallow tail mid, which is another name is called a Gridon mid. And this typical two check mid are named from the type of bird. So I start up the game. The game started up with pawn to e4, e6, d4, d5, knight to c3 c6 knight to f3 f5 and e to capture f5 and e to capture f5 and in this situation you can see that the two knight for the white are active and in the 16 square Therefore, in this situation, white is better. And you can see that the black is hardly developed any of the pieces into the board. Then the game continues knight to e5, bishop to d3, g6, bishop to d3, then queen to h4. And And this is a, a bit question mark because we're not sure why the queen come to h4 maybe with the idea of attacking the pawn or and capture the knight then the white continue play queen to e2 and with the idea of moving the knight for a discover check and capture the queen then the game continue b shot to e7 Knight to f3 to attack the queen and queen to g4 again. And here is another move that is questionable because in the early stage of the nine move, the black make many of the move which is unnecessary. So pawn to h3 to attack the queen. Then the queen move to only pawn place can move to queen h5. Then continue bishop to f4, knight to f6, bishop to e5, and here we are the king the knight. And if the knight moves, you can able to capture the rook. Then king to f7. And now long castling from the white. And queen to h6 to check the king. And king just moved to king to b1. And here, now the king is very safe. From being attacked. Then rook to e8 and here the white continue to make a pawn attack by playing a g4 and move to g5 to fork the knight and the queen. They also can capture the pawn and remove the black structure g4 knight to e4 g takes f5 knight capture c3 and check the king and b check c3 bishop takes f5 get back the pawn and in this situation the white is clearly winning 
and the pieces are all very active then bishop to capture the bishop bishop takes f5 g to touch f5 and queen to d3 and here you are able to capture the pawn and check the king then queen to h5 to protect the pawn and now rook g no, h to g1 with the idea of come to g7 and check the king then knight to d7 and here you have very brilliant move a very sacrifice move and the white play knight to g5 and check the king then bishop to capture g5 and queen to capture f5 pawn and check the king and able to capture the bishop again then king to e7 then rook d to e1 and here is a pin and the bishop can have a discover check and queen to g6 and in this situation the white mate in 5 I give a couple of seconds to figure out how the white made the idea well congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy the show here are the moves The white made a discover check by playing bishop to c7 and check with the rook and at the same time the bishop is prevent the king to escape and the queen is controlling the f file therefore the king has no place to move so the only way to prevent the check is to block with either the knight or the bishop and in this situation black resign the game so if the game to continue and black play knight to e5 then the rook can just capture the knight and check the king and again the king has no place to move then the only place to prevent the check is to move the queen to block the check and now you, the queen can capture the queen and check again and again the king left with another place to move this king to f8 then here you have the brilliant move by playing rook to f5 and check the king and now again the king we have another place to move or to block with the bishop so let's say if the king move to g7 and you have the bishop to e5 checkmate queen is control one diagonal the other bishop is control one diagonal and the rook is attacking the square and the queen is attacking this square if it block with the bishop then you have the rook go to rook go to f8 and checkmate or you can also capture the bishop and checkmate With this, thank you.